Mr. Tucker, the family is sitting here having a picnic yeah. out of the back of your Rolls Royce, which it caught my eye as, a, as an ex-carpenter, the, the beautiful joinery on it. But let's establish what Rolls Royce would have called this, because it might be sort of estate car, shooting brake. There are all kinds of ways of describing what is essentially a woody. Yeah. Or it, it in Americana, it will be a woody. Yeah, it wasn't made by Rolls Royce. Okay. It started life as a limousine right. and um, was converted by the owner, Lord Amptill, to a shooting break by possibly the Gold Narrow Motor Body Company, but they were advertised as the Belgravia. Oh, that's rather grand. But for use on one's estate, yeah, it, not in, in, in the town? No, it was originally a ten-seater, mm. had a bench seat in the front, right. two seats behind, so you could access the rear from the left passenger rear door, and four seats in the back. But unfortunately, I didn't know that when I rebuilt it. Ah. So I rebuilt it in rather a more luxurious style. Mm with the full complement of seats one would have taken one's shooting party out for yeah. a little bit of grouse shooting or something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Its owner was Lord Amptill, which I believe is an Irish peerage. Right. And um, I think he had estates in Ireland, but I'm not sure whether this car actually went to Ireland because he's also got estates in this country. But you've, you've rebuilt it. Yes. I had to take the quite roof Quite extensively, off. by the looks of it. Yeah, I had to take the roof off, because when you open the doors, the A-frames, there was four inches of lateral movement. That was quite a lot. And so I stripped off all the bulkhead and took all the screws out and replaced it with bolts. Mm. So glue and bolts. So it's now good and solid. Quite solid. I made a new roof for it, although I managed to rescue all the bits that go fore and aft. Right, right, right. Um, but all the cross pieces are new, the top tailgate is new, and the waistline is new from the B post to the back. What wood is it? Is it ash? Ash, yes. I thought so. So, Morris Traveller, but rather upgraded. Yes, well, what it's we the say... Same, the same wood. If, if somebody doesn't really understand what we're talking about, we say, well, if you know a Morris Traveller, think of something about three times the size. Mm. Certainly rather grand. You've put an awful lot of time. How many years have you been working on this? I acquired it in 2011, started work in 2012, and got it on the road in 2020. But that was mostly working in the winter months mm. because during the summer we're doing daft things like this. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Touring it's a, around. very much a labour of love though, isn't it? Mm. And mm. presumably quite substantial investment. Um, I don't know, I've never totaled it up. No, but and you don't want to. I don't really want to, no. <laughs> um, it's, one, it's one of those things that uh, if I needed it, I had to have it, you know. It's proved it's worth here. It is the perfect picnic vehicle. Oh, it is, yes, yes. Well, thank you very much for your time, sir. You're very welcome. Uh, and I'm pleased to see the family enjoying the family car. Yes, quite. It's the way it should be.